Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. We'll start with the thankful challenge first. In the thankful challenge I was tagged by Mark the Arkansas Woodcutter and the people that started this challenge it was Kimber Keto Life who is now called Every Day with Kimber and Simple Life Reclaimed. And what am I thankful for? That I have wit. <laughs> You're going to see in this next little segment that I'm going to do. First we'll go to a little video so you can, so I can sort of set up the story because I'm going to tell you a story about how I used my wit to get out of the bathroom to escape. How I used my wit to escape. So let's go to the video. A little visual of what the situation was with the girl and myself. This is the bathroom that I was stuck in. As you can see, the doorway is very narrow. The room is very small. It's a very small room. This is from the other direction. Very, very small. And she stood in the doorway keeping me from exiting. So I sat on this little bench. This is the bench I sat on. And she wondered what in the world I was doing. And now we'll continue with the story. As you could see, that was a very narrow room and the doorway is a very narrow doorway. It's one of the one of the smaller doorways in the house. I think it's like a 20 24 mm. inch, I don't know. Probably 24, 26 inch. It's it's a narrow doorway. And when that young lady, I have to put my coffee down. I have coffee. Mm. I shouldn't have brought my coffee up, but I'll put my coffee down. Oh, before I begin, I notice I have new hair. <laughs> 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 it's it came today, and, and it's it's really it's it's it feels it feels really really good. It feels so good. It feels good. Anyway, looks natural. It looks like it belongs to me. It does belong <laughs> to me. I paid for it. Yep. Okay. Um, when she was in the doorway, she had her hands like this on her on her waist, and she was she was about oh I'd say probably five foot two at the most or five foot one and a half, something like that. But she was probably about 160 to 180 pounds. She was a big girl. And I, at the time, was about 98 pounds, and I'm five feet. So, as you saw, the room was very, very small. So what happened is we, were, we had gone shopping, and I had bought chicken nuggets that day. And she decided she wanted chicken nuggets. Well, I had made beef stew and mashed potatoes and some other things. And so I did beef stew, beef stew. We're going to have some beef stew. And I sang that song because, you know, after you say, I want chicken nuggets. I don't want that. I want chicken nuggets. You hear that about 50 times. After a while, you want to pull your own hair out. So I used to do a lot of... Um, crazy dancing and kids used to think I was, had lost my mind but yeah I probably did lose my mind a little bit but it helped me keep my mind <laughs> so anyways I um, after dinner I went into the bathroom and um, when I went to come out here she is at the door and she wasn't gonna let me go past and I said can I come out and she goes no I want chicken nuggets I thought, oh dear, you're not going to have chicken nuggets. We're not having those today. We'll have them on another day. So she said, well, then you're not coming out of the bathroom unless I can have chicken nuggets. And I said, no, we're not having chicken nuggets. I had made beef stew, and that's what we were having. We had had. I, you know, I think we'd already eaten. Well, she was determined to keep me in the bathroom. So as you saw the little bench, I sat down on the little bench, and I went like this, and I closed my eyes. And she goes, Mary Grace, Mary Grace, Mary Grace. And I go, what? And she says, what are you doing? I says, you know, I'm going to call her Amanda. I said, you know, Amanda, I never take time for myself, and you are giving me the opportunity to take time. So I was just sitting here thinking and saying my prayers and just... 
I was kind of meditating, I guess. And so I think I will go back to that. And so I closed my eyes again, and I went like that. And with I was sitting on that, sitting on that little bench, so my elbows are resting on my knees. And she goes, Mary Grace, stop it! And I go, oh, all right, I'm done, I guess. I've had it long enough. I must have sat there a good 10 or 15 minutes. And then I thought, oh, can I come out now? No, nope, she doesn't want me out yet. So I decided, oh, you know what? I said, you know what, Amanda? I got that Avon um, face stuff that you're supposed to put on your face and you're supposed to put it on and let it dry. Mask. Mask, yeah. <clears throat> and I said, and I have never used it. Maybe this is the day I should be using it. So I took the mask out, and I'm putting it on my face, and it's green. <laughs> and I put it all over my face, on my forehead, and I left big wide circles around my eyes and around my lips. And I says, how does this look? And she goes, fine, I want my chicken nuggets. And I said, oh, no chicken nuggets, I'm, I'm still busy. And I, I says, now we have to wait for it to dry. And then I said, you know what would be even funnier? If I put... Emily's, or not Emily's, it would have been Jessica's at the time. Jessica's red lipstick on. Is that in here? And so I went searching around in the bathroom. Sure enough, she had her lipstick in there. So I put this big red lipstick on, and I outlined my lips, and I overextended it, of course, like the old ladies do. But I overextended, and then I go mwah, 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 to her, and she goes, oh, and she starts to laugh. And I said, should I show Jim? And she goes, yeah. So she took her arms and she turned, and I walked out of the bathroom. And I thought, whoa, I'm not going back in that bathroom. But I, I could have called Jim. Now, I had a question. I, there was a question in the comments that if I ever had, had to have Jim come to save me from some of this nonsense. Well, he was in the living room at the time, and I could have called him, but I knew I need to handle this myself. I only call him when I felt like I have no choice. I've exhausted every little avenue that I can think of to um, deflate the situation. And I knew I could get out of this. And it was not life-threatening or immoral or illegal what she was doing. Well, it might have been illegal to, <laughs> to leave me trapped. But um, I was going to be okay. And I could have hollered, Jim, come and get her. But then the fact that he would have to move her, she would cry wolf. So better he not touch her. Mm -hmm. Because these kids, you have to know, they will cry wolf. They will say that he did this or he did that and he did nothing. But And, and what all the stuff that you do, and they, can, they really can put on a good story. So I got myself out of it real easy. Now the only time I ever called him is like a say if I, I've... Um, Oh, I've exhausted every every possible. And I said, that's it. I'm calling Jim. And I go get the phone, and I call. And as soon as I pick up the phone to call, they calm down. They stop whatever it is they're doing. And They never knew how they to never, take me. No. He was, he always, he, he always looked like this really mean guy. He's really not. But he always put on that person. I says, you don't want to push him. I says, my mother used to say, still waters run deep and dirty because you never know what's underneath all that they're quiet but you don't want to disturb them you don't want them to explode because you don't know what their explosion is like and so they just never knew what he would be like and me i was always the excitable one and when i couldn't take any more i used to do my little dance and my little song and then i'd or i'd go ah! like did i scare you oh i'm so sorry <laughs> But that's what that I used loud. to do. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's what I used to do. And then they used to go like, whoa. And I says, oh, I feel better now. And then they would go, oh, okay. And they really thought I had lost my mind. But I really hadn't lost my mind. I just was, this was just me. Well, I have another story that mm -hmm. I can share with you. And in, uh, probably tomorrow I'll share it. It's how you get your kids to go to school or to church what I did for that because you know I worked with teenagers teenagers don't like to be told what to do and chances are they were placed with me because they were truant or they were person in need of supervision they had a pins petition put against them so 
we will talk about that tomorrow. So I hope I see you then. And I'll take you all take care, y'all. Y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I'm a little wound. Bye. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.